So you'd like to set up iOS notifications in Home Assistant. Uh, this is uh, going to be a pretty quick tutorial about how to do that. Uh, one of the first things you're going to need to do is go into configuration and you're going to go into integrations. You're going to make sure that you have Home Assistant iOS set up. If you don't, go ahead and click on this little yellow plus sign down in the bottom right hand corner and it's going to give you a list of all of the various integrations that are uh, already integrated in there. All you need to do is go ahead and select the Home Assistant iOS and then go ahead and go through the entire process. I can't because I've already got it. Uh, not shouldn't be an issue, but all you need to do is just go ahead and finish and click the defaults and you're be, you should be good to go. Uh, if you, for whatever reason, do not have access to this configuration button right here, the easiest fix is to make sure that you have direct access to your configuration.yaml. Uh, it'll be wherever all of these files are. So if you can get to these files, you should be good to go. You're going to go into your configuration.yaml and you're going to set up this line right here. By default, when you first set up Home Assistant, that's already on. If you don't have that, go ahead and add that in. Make sure that there's no indentation whatsoever at the beginning of that, and you should be good. Okay. So, once you've done that, then you can actually add in this little blurb down here as well, where it says iOS. Uh, I took it out uh, at one point. Uh, and I wanted to make sure that I, I still had it in there because iOS is what enables the, the notifications to take place. So you can add the default config and iOS at the same time and then go ahead and set up all of your, uh, your other stuff. Uh, you go back to Home Assistant. Once that's in there, what you're going to do is you're going to run off to I the uh, App Store on your phone or your iPad if you happen to have one. And you're going to go get this app right here. It's the Home Assistant Companion. Uh, it should be pretty easy to search for. Um, once you've found it, you're going to go ahead and install it. You're going to run it. And then you're going to get logged in into it. You're going you're gonna to find a, a settings screen inside there. Once you get that settings screen, you're going you're gonna to go ahead and enter in the, uh, the address of your Home Assistant instance. And you're going to put in the password if it has one. You're going to set up the, the configuration to make sure that that can actually connect to your Home Assistant uh, instance. Open Home Assistant and you'll find a gear in the bottom right hand corner. When you tap that you'll get this settings screen here. Then you'll scroll down and you'll go down to where it says iOS component. There will be an X to the right so you'll tap on the uh, iOS component loaded. Then you'll see the other two appear. You'll tap on both of them and go through the configuration process. When you're done, you'll scroll back up to the top. You might see an instance at the top that says detected instances. You can tap on that and you can go down to where it says basic authentication, fill in your username and password, and hit done. It should force you to go through validate and save settings. Uh, when you are done, you'll need to reopen the settings again and stay in there until you finish restarting Home Assistant. It's important that the settings screen be open. Uh, without that being open, it won't work. While Home Assistant is restarting, you'll have a little uh, notification down here in the bottom corner that says uh, Lost Connection uh, Reconnecting. And once it comes back, this whole page will reload. And then the easiest way to validate that you actually managed to successfully get the notification or notify uh, entity for iOS is to go into here in the developer tools. You'll start out on the info page. You'll go to services and you'll grab this pull down right here, which in here you'll find if you scroll down just past all the media players, you'll find notify dot iOS underscore and the name of your device. Uh, if this isn't there, you may have to open the settings screen again on the iOS device and then restart Home Assistant again. But make sure that the settings screen is open because that is the imperative part. Uh, once you've actually got that up and running, there is some documentation out there. The, uh, the iOS documentation on homeassistant.io uh, is actually pretty effective after this whole process gets started, uh, once you've actually got the, um, the notifier in there. But until then, <laughs> you're kind of on your own from there. 
Uh, if you do run into any questions or if this is still giving you some trouble, go ahead and drop me a line in the comments and I will see if I can help you resolve it. Uh, if you like this video, please go ahead and click on the little like button down there. Uh, if you like uh, my entire series of videos, please go ahead and think of subscribing. And uh, thanks for watching. It's been a pleasure.